So before I start, I just want to say I really like the film, guys. I thought it was pretty awesome. Thank Congratulations. You. Thank you. Um, Hannah, this movie felt really natural watching it. I really felt like a fly on the wall kind of watching their characters unfold. And as a writer-director, do you stick to the script entirely, or was there any room for improvisation during the film? It was mostly, uh, you know, we, we stuck to the script, but of course if dialogue just isn't working, then I let them say whatever comes naturally, but as long as it's stuck to, you know, what I was trying to convey. All right, so was it easier for you guys, uh, after learning the character's psyche, to improv as the characters, I guess? Um, it was, yeah, it was quite easy to improvise, but we really did mostly skip stick to the script. Um, sometimes we would we would ease into a scene with improv and or come right. out of it, but what ended up in the cut is pretty much what was written. Yeah, almost entirely. All right, awesome. So. Hannah, your first feature was We're Glad You're Here, and that was also with Lindsay. What are some of the lessons you learned from your first feature uh, that you brought to the table for a teacher? It was actually more of a featurette. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I learned everything from that. I learned how to make movies. I'd never shot anything before, so... Um, so it was like film school then? It was film school for me, yeah. I, I didn't go to film school either, so... Um, so yeah, and, and it was great working with Lindsay then, and also this time around, I, I knew exactly what I wanted this time, and uh, it was the also the exact kind of opposite type of film as uh, We're Glad You're Here was, so. Did yeah. you have Lindsay in mind when you were uh, writing this film? Yes, yeah, and I wrote the part for her. So, Will, where did your journey begin with this film? Uh, what exactly drew you to join this um, project? Well, my, my agent in Austin, um, Heather Collier, sent me the submission, and I read uh, in the script, and I read the script, and auditioned, and, you know, obviously really wanted the role, um, thought it was really well written script, and was hoping I would get it, and got called back. Um, callback went great, Lindsay and I, Lindsay was at the callback, which was a real treat, you know, when we get that, you know, and, um, we had great chemistry, um, and then these guys kept me waiting for like a month <laughs> whether or not I was going to be cast, so I didn't think I'd get it, but then luckily I did. That's cool. Yeah. Alright, so instead of showing audiences how the relationship began or showing the aftermath of the relationship, you did a great job of focusing more on the characters and trying to make it work in their daily struggles of keeping a secret hand. Was that the original approach when developing this group? No, the, the first few drafts showed how the relationship began, but then I realized I was just getting bored as I was <laughs> writing that. So, uh, and the parts that really interested me within that story were kind of the middle. Uh, so I thought, why not just trim the fat and make a movie I'd want to watch? It's good to make, make sure you saw <laughs> yeah. uh, Lindsay, your character has the characteristics of addiction. How did you prepare for the different traits uh, you show in your character? Um, well, uh, we, we did a bit of research, but um, I think the main thing was just looking inside myself and finding the parts that I could relate to in the character. Um, obviously, I've never been in that situation exactly, but um, I can relate to a lot of the feelings that she had, and um, I really, we really wanted to humanize her, and not have her um, feel like a villain or some sort of like the kinds of teachers you see in the media who are just like these weird dolls. Um, and so, yeah, the, like you, you said, addiction—that's a great um, uh, word for it. And uh, um, I definitely have can relate to addictive tendencies, particularly with relationships, um, and so I, I thought a lot about that, especially the relationships I had when I was younger, um, and had a little less perspective, and yeah. it would get sort of just like, you know, <laughs> yeah, um, so yeah, I related to it on a personal level, and certainly the, um, the obsessive thinking, which comes along with addiction, um, was a major, major entry point for me into the character's mind. 
So seeing how the film has a very dark plot and theme, what did you guys do off camera to lighten the mood? We <laughs> shot guns. We shot guns. <laughs> Actually, I didn't shoot guns. Didn't shoot there, I'm so. not that into guns. Not me either. But we did. Uh, what do we do? Sometimes uh, when we first got to the ranch and like Will and I drove around in his truck, um, yeah. he drove so fast. <laughs> I just held on. He was like ho hooping and hollering, which was that was fun. Yeah. <laughs> We had some great, the, the, the camera guys, which is really funny. Yeah, um, and, and Lainey, you know, the whole, the whole team are yeah, we like had a, a great, real family. Great, great set, yeah. Yeah, so we had a lot of fun together when we could. <laughs> yeah. All right, so uh, Hannah, since the teacher was so character driven, what decisions had to be made regarding what you wanted to show the audience about Diana, and what you wanted them to infer, infer about her history? Um. You know, I, I, hmm. <laughs> I guess I just wanted to show a specific moment in time and, and not really. There's one scene with yeah. her, uh, her brother who comes to visit, and uh, that scene in particular is meant to show that she just runs away from her problems. Uh, but in terms of other things that I was trying to, to show. Really, it was just a very small portrait. Yeah, so More, so just like yeah. observing the beauty in general. Yeah, yeah. yeah. which is cool, I think. <laughs> 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 Director, be sure. All right, uh, well, to prepare for this role, did you reach in any experiences in your own life where you're attracted to a teacher? Um. On a serious note, uh, how did you balance half your character who's being taken advantage of versus the half where he's forced to manage adulthood quite early? I didn't think I was being taken advantage of. Um, actually, I just thought it was a you know, really cool relationship. Uh -huh. um, and yeah, of course there are teachers in school that are like, oh man, the teacher's hot, you know, yeah. but that's, I feel like everyone's yeah, experienced exactly. that at some point. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah, he, and, and yeah, and the thing about, uh, I think he does have to grow up really quick and he's just kind of like, whoa. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, I've been doing like something I really shouldn't have been doing, you know, and I don't think he realizes that to the very end of the film. Yeah. Because of her actions. Alright, so Hannah, why did you feel it was important to pick, oh, I'm sorry. Why do you feel it was important to depict this relationship in the way that you did? Do you feel like you accomplished your goals since these relationships do happen in real life? Uh, well, I, I wanted to show the teacher as being a somewhat sympathetic character because otherwise viewers wouldn't want to watch. Yeah. Uh, and because there were elements that I personally very much related to. Uh, in uh, just emotionally in the role of Diana. So, um, so what, what was the... <laughs> do you feel like, like do you feel accomplished? Oh, do I? Uh, yeah, yeah, I think so. Uh, it's hard to, to know, you know, how other people really do yeah. take uh, or understand the film, but I feel like I did the best I could do. <laughs> right. So, what was your guys' experience debuting this film at South by Southwest? Being that you guys shot in Austin, it takes place in Austin. So. Uh, we actually premiered at Sundance. Shit, sorry. All right, <laughs> <laughs> but we did. We did play at South by But yeah, how was it? I guess uh, showing a film at South by Southwest. Then. <laughs> it's okay. It, it was great. It was like a homecoming, especially because Will was there. I lived yeah, there for Austin. a year and a half, and um, it was almost exactly a year after we wrapped the film. Also, uh -huh. we showed it, which was kind of funny. Yeah, really. Yeah. Uh, Home audience gets to see it. Our, yeah. our friends our, that yeah. we had in Austin. So yeah. Some of the crew who hadn't been able to make it to Sundance. Yeah. There, yeah. So it was great. And Austin's a great place. And the festival. The festival was a blast. <laughs> it was nice because we'd already premiered, so it was yeah, yeah. the pressure was off. Pressure was off, yeah. Have a good time. <laughs> yep. Yeah.
right, so I guess for my last question, what's next in store for all you guys? Um, I am remaking a film noir from 1953 called The Hitchhiker that Ida Lupino wrote and directed. Yeah. Um, I just wrapped up a couple of films uh, in upstate New York and Virginia before I came out here, and I have uh, two more coming up this fall, and hopefully more. <laughs> um, yeah, auditioning. I'm close on a few projects, so hopefully I'll be working soon. Definitely. Yeah. Alright. That was it, guys. Thanks. Thank Thanks you. So much. Yeah. yeah.